Jimmy Belinda with the Examiner. Nice to see you as always. Belinda with the Examiner. Nice to see you. First of all, I want to find out what is it like being at this event that we're honoring Quincy Jones. Have you worked with Quincy? What can you tell us? Well, you know, uh, I started, I, the first time I ever worked with Quincy was about, I hate to say it, about 40 years ago, 1973. I, I, was, I was assistant engineer at a recording studio, and the, Quincy Jones was coming in and to do strings. He was an arranger at the time. And I watched him, and it was an extraordinary experience to be, I was, I was 19 years old, you know, and I was just watching this guy and who seemed to know everything and everyone and had every feel and every story, but he knew what every instrument was doing, the essence of it. So there's a guy that comes with so much information and producers, I can't, producers need information. They need history, we all do. And you can move things forward, but you can't do it without history. The Beatles moved things forward, but they had a lot of history. You know, a great sense of history. And right now, pop music's a little mechanical, and Quincy was able to make the ultimate pop records, like with Michael Jackson, you know, the, the ultimate in pop records. And what he did was he made them sound contemporary at the time, futuristic, but yet real feel, like a real soul to them. And uh, I think we can use a little bit more of that in the record business right now. Now tell us what's the hottest ad going on in our school right now. Well, we have an artist called Lana Del Rey, which I'm really proud of. She's going into her second record right now. It's coming out right now, a song called Ride. And I just think that um, it's going to really go. And uh, uh, in hip-hop, we have a guy named Kendrick Lamar. He's uh, really good, and they're both coming out this uh, this fall, and we're really excited about that. Now, what can you talk about American Idol and the judges? What do you think about the new? Well, you know, uh, um, Mariah has a lot of information. Mariah is a real pro, and she understands that studio. She understands songs. She understands how to produce records. She knows where all the bodies are buried. And if she gives that information up, and she doesn't let anything slide that isn't what it should be, we're going to see a great show. Mickey Minaj is very, you know, you never know what's going to happen. And uh, she's there, and she has a lot of talent for a different generation. So she's going to have a different perspective on this, right? She's going to think things are important that aren't important to Mariah. And Mariah's going to think important that aren't important to Nikki, right? So that, if, if they really go for it, that's going to be the truth. They're going to, it's not acting. They really coming from two, they're coming from the same place as black women, but they're coming from a different point of view on pop music. And uh, I believe, and I think that should be really exciting. And lastly, Jessica and Philip and Home is taking over the world. That, that, yeah. that, that song is everywhere. When you picked out that song, that you know what that could be? Well, you know, I, I got the song three days before the, the finale, you know, and I heard it and I said, oh, man, if he'll do this, we win. You know, I just, because you, you don't get songs like that every day. You can't get them for everybody. Yeah. That song came in. We got really lucky with it. He did it. And now it looks like it's going to be around the number one record at Christmas time, you know, and it's going all over the world. So Scotty last year, Philip this year, and if we do it again, we're going to take it another place, you know. We're going to try to keep pushing the music forward and have success. Because right now in America, Idol is the only show that has success of artists. Everybody says they're this gigantic contest, but so far Idol is the only people that really take kids and push them to the front. And uh, people got to show up for that on the other shows because that, in the end, that's what this is supposed to be, yeah. <laughs> right? I hope you're back on Idol. We'll see you in January. Good talk. Okay, thank you.